Hello everybody, welcome again to our channel. The video today is to talk about dashboards. So I have here the dashboard that we will learn how to construct, how to elaborate here in Jump. And this is the end of the video. So if you are liking our videos, please like, subscribe, activate the notifications to don't lose uh, the next video. So let's understand how we will perform this, right? We have here a dashboard, we have a local data filter, we have a variability chart, a control chart, a distribution with the capability process analysis here. And every time that I can see different machines here, everything changes at the same time so this video is for you that is analyzing your process or your product or service every single day and you need a dashboard so how can we do this how can we perform this there is there are more than one way to do this so follow me and let's see what will happen here so I, I close this one and uh, for for this analysis I have here a, a data table about parts that are being measured every single day in different shifts and different machines are producing them so I have here uh, some parts some uh, critical characteristic is being measured here and I go there and I have a process capability analysis I have a control chart analysis here I have a variability chart here to understand the variation between them but I want to construct I want to make a dashboard so I can go here in file new new dashboard the moment that I open this function here in Jump, Jump suggests me some, some uh, different patterns. So two, two different graphs in the same line, two, uh, two and two, three and two, plus one dashboard. So we have some options, we have some samples here, and I will choose this blank dashboard to show you how to do this so every window that I have that is opened here they are here so distribution variability and control chart so I will put here just drag and drop here and the control chart right below the variability chart and the capability process analysis here at the right side and here in these boxes we have some options and the option that I used was data filter so let's put here data filter so everything is done I could uh, choose some buttons here to to perform uh, the, the visual part of the the, the, the dashboard I could pers uh, customize here the way I want it so this way is the way that I want so I will click here in run script so run script jump is thinking is processing and now we will have the dashboard the dashboard is here is done graphically but this, this is the moment that we have to organize the situation let's uh, choose uh, what column will be our filter so is machine so machine plus here so let's add I will put here a little space I, I want to see only the the machine here where is it where is it I just put here in another tab so let's put again here machine I'll, I'll just just a little space to select machine one two and three here so we 
just organize the size of the graphs the way we want is very very customized here so you you can add the specification limits as well here the spaces are good I will put this to the right because I don't want to see the the mean the standard deviations the the, the statistical process are everything that I need is here the capability and so on so what is different here from my dashboard this control chart is being filtered by machine so machine number one they are the, the first 36 points machine number two and number three so I don't want this appearing like this so I can go here and click in uh, show excluded region and deselect this so now I have the the control chart the way it is okay this is the first option to, to how to perform how to elaborate a, a dashboard okay so I can just go here and save script to the data table so dashboard example so okay I can close this and I have here the dashboard example okay so the moment that I click here in play I have the dashboard uh, uh, done very good the second way to do this is here in this window function so I have some windows that are opened so I can combine windows the moment that I combine windows automatically jump suggests here to put it into a dashboard so what you want to put as a, in, in a dashboard the control chart the distribution and the variability so let's click in OK jump will process this and make a dashboard so we have here our dashboard but the the position of the graphs is different so I, I can customize this manually so I just click here in the variability and I will put above this distribution to the right okay to the right but up here and I have to add a local data filter so how can I do this because I don't have the option I have the particular option here for example in this variability chart uh, local data filter I don't want this because I want the, the data for uh, being filtered for every single graph so I have to let's close this remove local data filter I have to edit dashboard so let's edit so the moment that I do this I will come back to that function about dashboards and here I can add the local data filter where I want to put this and here I can reorganize everything the way I want okay so this is how we perform these dashboards I really hope I could help you again in one more video and bye bye see you in the next one.